Okay, Monday, 7th of November. So let's take a look at the market. So let's get started. Okay, now this week we've got lunar eclipse, right? So we're going to have swings in the market. It's a good push up um, on Friday with gold. Um, I talked about it in the video I did on the weekend. So if you didn't check it out, it might be a good idea. So what are we going to expect this week? Now, first of all, you know, like I said, I've been saying last week as well, lunar eclipse, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky on Tuesday. It's going to be tricky on Wednesday and a bit more stable with decent swings on Thursday. But on Wednesday, gold, I think, will be impacted quite nicely. And I think Wednesday um, is going to be a nice day for trading, uh, especially if we're at the tops around here. We should have a big dip down to cover all the um, to cover the uh, gaps the market made okay so if it still hangs around here that is now this is a big leap up so the market will want to pull back a little bit and then it'll want to continue because there's a break of structure here as you can see okay so that break of structure will call back for a good buy kiss and that initially is at 54 so 54 is important for us that's 16 69 50 let's get rid of these 16 69 50 is pretty much there so that's 68 let's do this 16 69.50 okay so this is the first support of today and it's not a wonder the market stopped here okay the daily pivot and the weekly is a bit back behind here so we're probably going to test those levels sooner or later this week let's get rid of what we had from last week so now last week we had the swing day here and i gave that price and that was an astrological hour right here as well so the market did a beautiful turnaround now i will also get rid of these let's see what we've got for this week every week we've got to re-evaluate it so on the monthly this 42 77 to 16.75, which was on our agenda in any case, is already done as you can see. So the market did a good buy kiss. The first resistance is going to be 43, which is 16.89. Okay, so 16.89 is there, and that's going to be the first weekly resistance. The support for the week is going to be 36.18, and that's going to be 16.29. Okay. And we may definitely find ourselves at 1629 because we've got a nasty aspect um, happening and that's going to be happening during the week. I'll give you a heads up, don't worry, in the members area. So it's all okay. All right. And we could have a big flop coming all the way back down and that should not surprise you either um, after this goodbye kiss there on the monthly. <coughs> so a bit of an up move is okay. And if we end up somewhere around here um, this week on Wednesday, then um, we'll be definitely looking to sell on Wednesday if we're up here somewhere. Okay, if we're at the tops, we'll be looking to do that. Um, or if we're, or if the market went down and came back up on Wednesday, we'll be looking to do that. I'm going to give you the hours. Don't worry. So in the interim, this is our initial support for the day, and that is the weekly one. Now on the daily, if it goes below this, the market will want to fill in some gaps here. So 1666 is the other level here, which is there. So this whole zone here, okay, from the weekly to that level, there's a support level here. So if the market comes back into an astro hour down, okay, buying is not a bad idea to go up. And then if we go up, then looking to sell is not going to be a bad idea. All right, so we're going to have to follow this two way. This week is tricky. I urge you to be careful and use prudent money management, okay, because the market's got some funny aspects and we're going to have dramatic moves going up and down. Um, including gold as well. Gold will be very touchy this week. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. 
Now that was a good buy kiss. I said with this one, this could either go up from there or down because we were right in that zone there. And we had that target from before, as you can see. So the market going up is good. This is bullish simply because it didn't break that swing there. So there's no need for you to stand and sell in front of that. The place to buy would be 48 on the daily, which is 98.43 so 98.43 let's do this let's bring this back because the market should retrace a little bit and it should bring us back and once it broke out last week like i said watch the weekend video if you haven't already done so so let's get rid of these okay so new week let's start clean there we go all right so new week support of the week is 37 98 24 so 98 24 down here okay 98 this is the weekly support there and then we've got do we have anything new on the monthly no on the monthly we've got room to go up this is an inside bar at the moment it's a little tricky okay but at the end of the day we can still we can still symmetric triangle we can still do something with this okay um so that's that the resistance is going to be 47 which is 10067 10067 is there okay so that's the target zone there on the daily a good place to buy is 48 98 43 so this zone a bit of a retracement into this zone would prompt us to buy 98 43 is there okay so this is your buy zone here all right let's do that and this is a logical buy spot because it's a gap the market would like to fill and it's nice to see it matching the PST zone as well so that's all honky dory all right there whoopsie daisy come on love there we go all right now so this is a buy zone definitely okay if it comes back the weekly and the daily PST is there it's a good impulse wave I'm pretty sure it'll match a Fibonacci rate as well mind you I use GAN okay and there you go there's your GAN happening there I don't use Fibonacci so my rates are a little different but you know you can do Fibonacci whatever okay it doesn't matter at the end of the day that's where we are so coming back into this zone will prompt us to buy if it doesn't go up first okay if it goes up first we'll be looking to short it all right so be mindful um we've got targets up there now that pst levels from what level is that let's see 59 until 63 so we've got a few levels one triple oh seven is going to be down here like very close there one triple oh seven It's pretty much one come on there all right so that's the target there this is on a daily i've got 61 63 as well which is 100421 okay 1004 so let's call it 10040 for the sake of argument and 10090 all right 10040 10090 is here Oopsie daisy, come on. 10040. Now, why you got to check these out and why are you, why am I so pedantic about these? Because PST levels work, okay? And there are a few lines there, yeah. Okay, it's just that's just the way it is. But because we're using astrology, we've got the turnaround hours as well. So once it matches a level, that's good. Also, if I know the extension there, I can put a stop loss higher. If the stop loss is going to be too high, I can keep the volume lower. So knowing these levels allows good money management. Also, let's take a look. 
on the monthly the first target is a 29 that's 10026 10048 so that 10040 zone doesn't look too bad <clears throat> All right, and then 10026, 40, right, that's going to be hot around here. So let's just do this. This is, this is going to be a pretty hot zone here, okay? Um, that is also, for us, going to be a supply zone. Break it there. Okay, so I've got double confirmation there. This is one zone. So that's what we can take into account. All right, nice and easy. Just draw that there. The second one, there'll be a second one up here, which we, I'm going to do this all the way into that zone there. Okay, there we go. All right, so not too bad. So if we come down, we've got room to go up. Where to manage? Where to manage the money as well? and we to manage the trade more like as well too. So let's take a look at that. And coming up into that 1.005040 zone, like I said, looks logical. This zone is also very logical. So on a pullback going up is looking pretty good. On the weekly, we've got that level 47, 1.067, so it's all coming up into here as you can see. All right, so this is the zone 1.067. So that's going to be a target zone for us, all right? So where can you get in? You can go long here. You can go really nice long here at Astro Hours and follow it through, okay? Because I'm expecting the market to make use of this lunar eclipse. Um, and when we get up there, if we're up here somewhere on Wednesday, Thursday, that would be nice for us too. Let's take a look at the um, US 30. Um, right on the resistance on the monthly there, PST, and the trend is still down. We talked about this last week as well. So if the market goes back up to retest, we can probably have another sell at this as well. I talked about this level being a zone, so the market coming in here again is an option, and we'll be happy to sell here as well. This is a good place for the sell-off. This is where the swing was. Market broke it. That's a supply zone. We marked it in before. They sold there last week. Let it come to Papa. We can do the sell again. Okay. So I'm still expecting the markets to be down until January. Okay. This is a good leap up. It's a double bottom, but we should probably be seeing the market pull back at least a little bit more into January as well, especially Mars mucking around where it is at the moment. Where is Mars? Wait, right, let's do this. Yeah, Gemini. Okay, then we're going to go into Taurus. Where are you? There you go, Gemini. We're going into Taurus. Or from Taurus to Gemini. <clears throat> so that Gemini and Mars and Taurus is just very tricky. So we're going to be careful on that. Mars is also retro. All right. So I think the 14th of November it was going to change signs so be careful still expecting a lot of volatility market can come back down into this zone as well and that's not a bad thing for us like i said i'm going to set you up for good buying and investing um levels as the um as time goes forward all right so during the month during the next few months we'll have good positions where you can also invest for the long term if you're investing in um, stocks and stuff for the long term um, so on this one we've got that level here 56 so I want to keep an eye on 33,063 33,000 oops 63 okay so there let's just refresh this up a little bit and then I'll get rid of these these are all good and as you can see, these are all levels we talked about. Okay, so that's one level up there. That's on the weekly. The other one is that one there, which is an LCL 134291. 34291. Right there, let's get rid of these. 
and just keep in mind this zone here okay from 33,452 to 33,050 um, that's that on the daily 78 34,470, 34,092, 3492 is going to be there. Okay, so this zone we're going to keep in mind. And another one, that was LCL1, was it? Yeah, LCL1. And what about 78, 34,447? 34,447 is going to be, let's just do that. Okay, so this zone could still be a target. Could it go up this much? It certainly can. With all the big up moves, we can have a lot of things happening. Okay, so that's that. Okay, that's going to be a target for us, not a um, odd spot as you can see the market sold there before we'll be looking into that zone again as well all right so it's in that zone so like i said take this into come on oh come on take this into where are you there consideration all right we're going to keep this in consideration so right there let's take a look at Bitcoin okay so a new week markets done as you can see those levels so I talked about this level it's done it and it's good to see that the markets are being done with our targets now remember targeting is very important. If you don't know how to target your trade, you're never gonna know where you're gonna go. On Friday, I said it's gonna be like a little dodgy, but that's how it is. And I said I was expecting breakout. So there you go, that breakout happened. You could have always traded that one. If you learned technical analysis from me, that was your goodbye kiss. And that was at the seven o'clock bar. And you know, seven, seven thirty-five. we're expecting a U-turn. So the market comes down right into that PST level and then bang, because that was a daily PST level. And I said, if it breaks above that, you know, we've got room to go. And it certainly broke above, came back to retest it exactly at an astro hour and just nailed it. So that was all good. Let's just refresh this. Let's just get rid of these levels. Now, every week we've got to be starting fresh, right? New week, new setups, new levels. So this is the monthly. It's nice to see it going up a little bit. I'm still expecting a bit of a pullback down because this Mars retrograde is going to shake the shake the whole world actually. So um, we'll see how that goes. Still has a bit of room to come down. We still have lower lows here, as you can see. So that lower lows can still bring the market down a little bit. Um, I put these levels here, and I know it's a bit low, but it's just technical analysis and you know they can happen all right so you can see that big drop there so these levels are very good i think market will want to come and test these i still think that way people some people say this is not you know it's a bit crazy but you know that's just how it is so these levels are good highs for the weekly as you can see and on the monthly there is room to go back up but the market can always come back down and that monthly goodbye kiss here in November is 35.65 and that's 10,465 and yeah I'm not too far out okay so you never know all right so waiting for the market to come into those levels is not a joke um, and it can happen and this is a inverse cone it's very volatile very very touchy so what you want to do with Bitcoin is like I said we'd come up into these levels because there's a gap to fill here it filled in the gap as you can see market retracing your first support let's see where it is on the weekly it's going to be this LCL one line 20,123 is where you're going to be wanting to buy first and it's all the way down here as you can see right 20,123 there is that and then there, all the way down here is 3233, I think, is there 17300, 800. 17, 300, 
800 well it is quite low as you can see so the market pushing this down is actually a, a, a big probability so selling is not a bad idea at all from the tops um, 17 830 there okay on the daily um, sorry weekly down here 32 33 yeah and 17 386 17 386 is there <coughs> so this is a weekly target market coming down here should not surprise us all right but in front of us the first support is going to be these two levels here so if the market buys they'll do that 20,500 20,500 which is there so if you're a buyer this level is going to be first stop if it breaks sharply below this don't stand in front of it okay because you drop down to HCL1 which is 20,300 so this is your this is your last frontier 20,300 okay if it breaks below these levels okay if it breaks below here you know where we're going right you know where we're going so be mindful market's going to be volatile again lunar eclipse what can you do if you want to buy do it down here between 20,500 and 2302 but this is a this should be a stronger one okay because simply because this was a demand zone here as you can see so this is a strong level but if this breaks I'd put a question mark on it okay because then it's going to have a potential to just dip down right? and the first daily is there what if it breaks below this your target is that 35 and look at that that's 19,000 so once that happens let's put a price here 19,000 because you want to see where it's going bloody hell it's raining like cats and dogs out there there you go all right and that's your big one jesus all right have a good one all right i just say have a good one but i'm not done yet because we've got to check out the resistance levels now today's resistance on the daily is 71 and that is 21,710. So let's put that in there. 21,710. Yeah. There. All right, so pretty much this zone here. That's the resistance as well. That's going to be the first one. The weekly, we're pretty much done, okay? So 710, 887. 710, 887. This will also be your sell zone on the price target. Let me just check the past. 21, 700, 800. 21. Seven hundred, eight hundred is just going to be there. All right, we'll be happy to take that too. Okay, that's the zone there. So if the market comes up into that zone, which is there at Astro Hours, do it. All right, it's sellable. Okay, so be mindful. These are support, but if this breaks, probably this will break too. Okay, so be smart and trade safe. Volatile week.